Mark's room, dimly lit, set the stage for the eagerly anticipated horror game, Whispers in the Shadows. Released on a Friday night, the promises of unparalleled realism and a chilling narrative had fueled Mark's anticipation. As the clock struck midnight, he launched the game without hesitation. The title screen, accompanied by ominous music, introduced the options, new game, load game, and options. Mark chose new game, and the virtual world unfolded before him. The protagonist, Alex Turner, received a mysterious letter leading him to a long-forgotten mansion on the outskirts of town. The atmosphere, from creaking gates to flickering lights, was palpable and immersive. As Alex explored the mansion, strange occurrences heightened the tension. Whispers echoed, footsteps sounded in the distance, and Mark began feeling a sense of unease. The game blurred the line between reality and the digital realm, creating an immersive experience that left him on edge. The haunting sounds persisted even when he took off his gaming headset, causing him to question the boundaries between the game and his own reality. The storyline took a dark turn with grisly murders within the mansion's walls, and Mark pressed on, determined to uncover its secrets. The horror escalated, and the game seemed to adapt to his actions, playing on his deepest fears. The power flickered in Mark's apartment, briefly plunging him into darkness, adding a surreal layer to the experience. As the climax approached, with Alex facing a choice mirroring Mark's internal struggle, the boundary between player and character dissolved. Mark felt a profound connection to the digital avatar on the screen. The consequences of the choice weighed heavily on him, and he hesitated, paralyzed by the fear of making the wrong decision. The room around Mark seemed to close in, the walls pulsating with an otherworldly energy. He could no longer separate the game from reality, and a suffocating sense of dread gripped him. The game's final moments played out, leaving Mark in stunned silence as the screen faded to black. The credits rolled, and Mark sat in the darkness, the only illumination coming from the computer screen. The game had ended, but the echoes of its horrors lingered in the room. Mark hesitated to remove his headset, half expecting the haunting whispers to persist in the silence. As he finally peeled the headset away, a wave of relief washed over him. The room was silent, the only sound the distant hum of his computer. Mark chuckled nervously, attributing his unease to the immersive nature of the game. He leaned back in his chair, trying to shake off the lingering tension. But as Mark gazed around his room, something felt amiss. The shadows seemed to cling to the corners, and the air retained a lingering chill. He dismissed it as a trick of his imagination, a residual effect of the intense gaming experience. With a sigh, he stood up, ready to put the unsettling encounter behind him. As Mark walked toward the door, a soft whisper echoed in his ears. He froze, the hairs on the back of his neck standing on end. The voice was faint but unmistakable, a ghostly murmur that sent shivers down his spine. Thank you for playing, Mark, it whispered, the words hanging in the air. Mark's heart raced and he stumbled backward, his eyes darting around the room. The disembodied voice seemed to linger, a presence that defied explanation. Fear gripped him and he fumbled for the light switch, desperate to banish the shadows that seemed to close in around him. As the room flooded with light, the whispers ceased, leaving Mark in a state of shock. He questioned his sanity, wondering if the game had somehow breached the boundaries of the digital world. The rational part of him insisted it was a mere coincidence, a byproduct of an overactive imagination. Yet, deep down, a seed of doubt had been planted. Mark couldn't shake the feeling that the game had left an indelible mark on his reality, blurring the lines between the virtual and the tangible. As he retreated to his bed, sleep eluded him, haunted by the lingering whispers that seemed to echo in the shadows. Days turned into nights and Mark found himself caught in a perpetual state of unease. The whispers persisted, faint but unmistakable, a constant reminder of the game's lingering presence. He tried to rationalize the experience, convincing himself that it was a psychological trick, a manifestation of his own fears. Yet as the whispers grew more insistent, Mark couldn't escape the nagging feeling that the game had somehow transcended the digital realm. The boundary between the virtual and the real became increasingly blurred, 
and Mark struggled to discern where the game ended and his own fears began. The haunting whispers became an unrelenting soundtrack to his days, a constant reminder that the game's horrors had left an indelible mark on his reality.